Well, good morning, and welcome back to Gavin Sonic's B Build. It's uh, the 4th of um, November. No, December. I'm a month out. It's the 4th of December. And um, today I'm going to be uh, building the elevators. I'm hopeful to get the whole thing done in the day. I've already started. I've got a bit of a head start in that I've built the uh, elevator drive horn assembly. Um, otherwise known as the elevator root assembly. Um, here it is. It's three parts. And what a palaver it was to do that. Believe it or not, just to put these three pieces together took me well over two hours. Um, they've obviously got to be completely and utterly level with each other, which these are. Um, but the big problem was actually drilling the holes. Um, the centre part, which is uh, made out of mild steel, I think, is um, pre-drilled with pilot holes. It comes pre-drilled with pilot holes. And then obviously you've got to mark through it, drill through it, do whatever, to drill the holes into the, um, the ribs, the elevator ribs. And actually doing that accurately enough um, to uh, get the two ribs level with each other proved to be quite difficult and challenging. And I must admit, I made a couple of um, errors with them um, where I couldn't get the drill in to drill the holes closest to the bar there. Um, and I drilled them at a slight angle and this pulled them out of line. But luckily enough, I discovered it before I drilled them out to full size. So I was able to compensate for it when I drilled them out to uh, eighth for the rivets. And uh, it actually all went together well. It was a bit difficult to get the riveter into, even the hand riveter into uh, do a couple of the rivets. Um, not easy. Um, had to um, make a little bit to um, compensate for the fact that the riveter was slightly out of line with the rivet, so it applied the pressure to the rivet um, correctly. Um, even though the riveter was offline. But anyway, it's done now. <laughs> As I say, it is uh, it's level, <laughs> which is the main thing, because we don't want the aircraft to go around corkscrewing its way everywhere, do we? So uh, I'm going to crack on with the rest of it. Um, we've got to uh, cut some hinges. And uh, we've got to cut two elevators out of these two pre-bent um, sections. And uh, I'll let you know how we get on as we go. So um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is cut the hinges. Got a lot of holes to drill in the hinges. Um, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll give you an update once I've done that. So it's taken about an hour to uh, cut the two jaunty angles on the ends of the elevators and uh, cut them to length. Um, I'm pretty damn pleased because um, the overall length from one end to the other has to be 78 inches. And uh, it is exactly 78 inches. Um, and you can obviously use the positioning of the uh, drive horn um, to, to make that happen. But because I've cut it properly, it is actually 78 inches anyway. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. So I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee. And, um, and then I'm going to come back and mark out the the other two ribs that go into each half of the elevator 
and uh, also do the uh, cut the hinges to length and drill those. They have to be pre-drilled and then they're mounted onto the top edge which is at the bottom here um, of the elevators to line up with the hinges on the horizontal stabiliser which are already on there so I think we'll be doing that with it actually attached to the horizontal stabiliser to make sure everything is absolutely perfect. More later. Okay then, so uh, here we go, we're all silver code up, apart from the two centre ribs which I've left so that we can fit the, um, the elevators to the back of the horizontal stabiliser and then we'll actually drill those in situ whilst it's attached to the rest and you can see here the hinge is all on all clear on I had an awful job with the first um, centre rib um, on this one over here I just could not get it in the right place and um, it took me about an hour to actually get it to sit in the right place and in the end I lost my temper with it chucked it on the bench and that sorted it out so um, <laughs> there you go so there we go both elevators are all silver clear code so now I shall drill them all out um, apart from the centre the two uh, centre ribs and uh, pop rivet it all together apart from the centre ribs and then we'll try it on the back end of the horizontal stabiliser and then we can fit the, uh, the last bit and then it's done whoopee anyway more again soon welcome back I've drilled out both elevators and they've both been uh, copper clear code together um, I've just stripped one down just to show you the process that uh, went through to actually make it in the first place. So we start off with a folded sheet um, which is in the shape of a triangle and then to do the elevators you have to mark a, uh, a line to cut one end off. So that's the bit that was cut off and then basically you need to mark out to drill all the holes in three places for the ribs so this is the control horn rib which is going on this end then we've got the middle rib which is going to be secured through those holes and then we've got the end rib which is secured through those holes and of course the hinge goes on the back edge or the front edge rather so we've got holes all the way along here for the hinge you can't see through them at the moment because uh, the ribs aren't in there and everything's sort of floppy so nothing lines up but believe me, it does line up. And then we've got the hinge, which we had to cut from a, a long length of hinge and then mark and drill all these holes at regular intervals all the way along. And to put the holes in the ribs, we basically put the ribs inside and drill through into uh, the ribs so once they're drilled they are specific to the position so this one I've marked with an M for middle and that's the one that goes here and this one's marked with an E for end and is the one that goes in here so what I'm going to do now is deburr everything I've already started deburring um, but I'll just carry on. I've done the uh, ribs and I've done the 
hinge. So now I've got to actually deburr the uh, the main part of the elevator, um, which involves taking all the tape off and peeling all the plastic off as well, because once it's deburred, we'll be riveting it together. And then it's a question of stripping the other one apart and uh, deburring that and then riveting that together. Minus, obviously, the drive horn, which fits in there. Because what we're going to do is, once uh, this is all riveted together and the other one's riveted together, we will attach it to the horizontal or the hinges on the horizontal um, stabiliser and then lastly fit the drive horn so that it all uh, matches up perfectly and um, the hinges run freely etc and everything's straight and level so onwards and upwards here we are then one side of the elevator is uh, completely deburred and re -clicoed and about to be riveted uh, just leveled up the two bars with the digital link chronometer to make sure everything's absolutely spot on it's sitting flat on there everything's good so away with the rivets well both uh, air elevators are uh, fitted and uh, looking good and now I've got the uh, drive horn assembly the drive ribs in place and um, clear code up and we'll be riveting them shortly so there we have it the horizontal stabiliser and elevators complete. And uh, I've just checked it. And everything is good. I haven't finished the uh, hinges off properly. It's upside down at the moment. Uh, you're looking at the bottom. Um, and you can see the elevator drive horn sticking up there which will be inside the tail assembly once it's all put together. And there are the hinges. And so now we've got to decide what to do next. I've got a little tiny bit of filing just to tidy up the edges where the inner ribs have gone but apart from that that is done as a done thing gets I'm not going to bother to put the uh, the fiberglass end caps on at the moment because um, for storage it's better off with them removed at the moment and uh, once we actually attach this to the rest of the aircraft, then I'll put the end caps on. Okay, so that is the elevators complete. Onwards and upwards. That took about 14 hours to do the elevators. So it's... Um, actually working out to be about 15 hours of sub-assembly um, here or there. Um, quite surprising that it takes so long um, considering that there aren't that many parts to put together but the same with the rudder and the elevators you've got to drill all the holes, um, mark everything out, cut things to length um, so it all takes time. So 15 hours for the uh, elevators um, Still thinking about what to do next. Uh, I'll get the plans out and have a look at it. Uh, it's possible we might go for the wings next. Um, big project. 
I'm going to have to find a way of getting everything level. Um, my bench is not level enough as it is. So um, I'm not quite sure what to do. Buying a piece of straight wood in France is very, very difficult. They grow it all themselves. It's force grown. And of course it all warps. So um, you never find a, a straight piece of wood. Even if you buy something like a 6x2 or something like that. It's still uh, still wavery all over the place. Um, so I'm going to give that a bit of thought. and uh, But there we go. So that's... Uh, the rudder, the uh, the tail fin, the horizontal stabilizers and the elevators all complete. See you again soon.